Okay, I'm back, and I've got uh, Hiram's Boot CD on a CD put in there. <coughs> and what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to catch that boot screen again. I've got my SD card in there, too, because there's files that I put on it. I remembered that, that I wanted to use. <laughs> Links. Okay, so it doesn't see... The SD card, <coughs> which doesn't matter this time, <coughs> boot to the USB. Now, what I want off of here, there's a lot of tools on here. There's Plot Boot Manager. I forgot it was on there. I'm going to try that first because, uh, no, let's don't do that. doesn't really matter. Plot Boot Manager, it might work a little better. Oh, what did I do? I waited too long. I didn't think it would do that. Went back to the first menu and left it sitting there, and it timed out and booted to try to boot to the hard drive. And control alt delete <coughs> should reboot. Okay. And I'm guessing it's going to boot to my CD by default. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to use Mini XP off of Hiram's boot CD. <coughs> And uh, should be able to open up a web browser and open up an HTML file I have on my SD card. Since it's FAT32, it shouldn't really be a problem. And uh, I'll put it over here more towards the middle for now while it's booting. If you've never seen that, it's a live version of XP that uh, this hiring guy set up. For a rescue system, it's got all kinds of rescue apps. Uh, can't see the bottom of the screen, can you? Down at the bottom of the screen, there. That's where you get that comes up. This is Hiram's Boot CD 15, and if you click down here, then you'll see this other menu of all the. They're basically what you they call portable apps. You know, they just run from the executable file, but a whole bunch of them. While they have really been helpful, because I went and I discovered them in here, uh, a lot of them won't run. <coughs> so uh, they say, well, it runs better if you have it actually installed. Or, I don't know, maybe he, maybe they used to run and he just left them in there uh, in the newer versions or what. But uh, the only thing I can really difference I can tell between, let's see, what does it have? 12, 14, and 15, or something like that that I have. The only difference is. Um, that this 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 GUI actually works better in 15, um, but I think there's probably a few there's a few more apps in here than there is in the older version. But say all these antivirus apps, it's kind of hit and miss. Some will run, some won't. Uh, <coughs> of course, you're going to have an old. This is uh, this is this CD is three at least three years old, maybe older, and so you're going to have an older version of the software too. Uh, besides, but it, most of them, you know, if they work right, they're going to update the definitions. But, uh, like for instance, malware bytes, it'll tell you, well, you know, you should really just run this from your system uh, in safe mode. And then say, do you want to continue? When you continue, I think it just errors out and won't even start up. But some of them will run. <coughs> Can't seem to hold myself still. Um, got this sitting on a box and I still keep moving around. Um, what was I in here for? Okay, I want to open up the web browser. On the other side, it has a few things. It has the normal start menu down there. And, uh, <coughs> a few other icons, quick, quick, um, quick go icons. Where's the web browser? Internet Explorer, but actually, if you open up something from the regular menu, it will uh, open it up with. Uh, I want Windows Explorer anyway. Now it really gets uh, wonky if you if you're only used to Windows file systems. Uh, see, it has a RAM drive. That's what you're running off of. Program files, common files, temp, and local disk. See that. Okay, that really is local disk C. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. You're, you know, it depends on your system, how many drives you have in your system. 
any XP documents and settings that's a that's actually that's a live system you know it goes away when you can only it's only there while you're running and so uh, I guess RAM drive is really you know like things that run in uh, I guess it's sort of like a page file system I guess not quite sure or it's running in RAM well, everything's running in RAM here that you're looking at except for the C drive D, well that's my CD that it's on. Okay, and if you had more drives, then it might throw the, the letters off. But since there's only one drive in here, then it, the letters are good. Um, did you have to know that when you're running these programs to know where to go to scan? Uh, you can't just assume you go to C drive. You may be scanning your uh, USB stick or whatever, you know. D, uh, I think... Well, I don't even know if D always turns out to be the DVD, CD, DVD drive. So, what I don't see is what I was looking for. Uh, my, uh, my SD card. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to pull it out since it's not mounted, obviously. Put it in a different slot and see if it mounts automatically. If it don't, I can't get to the files without figuring out how to mount it. Okay, it saw it. There it is. It's E. It says it's not formatted. Do you want to format it? Well, no. Guess what? I probably broke it fixing it. I should not tried to. I shouldn't have done that. Probably messed up the. Uh, Probably, uh, you probably wrote, uh, I can't say the right thing. He wrote, uh, th things for hard disk on an SD card is what I think happened. Uh, for the, uh, telling what it is and everything. See, it's not completely, it's seeing it. Actually, I may have lost my, could have lost my, uh, could probably use test disk or something that's in here I think on partitions it might have messed up my partition tables hard disk and storage check disk I don't see test disk that's the one I, I really like. I usually always use it in Linux, but I believe it'll run. Maybe it doesn't run in a Windows system. Check disk. Let's see what happens. Okay. Enter my drive choice. Oops. I want... Where is it? C, D, B. Uh, it's not showing the one I want. Oh, wait. Volume 2, 30 gigabyte healthy. That would be it. Enter drive letter. B for RAM drive. C for no label. That's my C drive. H, B, C, D. Mini XP. Can't, can't scan it. But it does see it. Says volume two partition. It's healthy. Okay. <clears throat> I can be kind of careful because I could break it even more trying to fix it. Partition boot MBR. Yeah, master boot record. That's what I was trying to say. Auto mount drive. MBR check. See, but I don't uh, the ones uh, the things that I'm not super familiar with. I'm kind of worried to use. There. Re unknown MBR code. Twenty nine gigabyte. Yeah. Which it may just be because it's a Linux uh, MBR setup. That's not. That's kind of broke. Basically. 
guess I should try it in a different machine before I decide it's actually broke. Non-standard or infected MBR. Well, it's not infected. I just messed it up. Okay. Why? I hit enter for more options. I get curious to my own detriment. Dump the MBR of the physical disk to the file. Restore the MBR of the physical disk with the standard boot code. Exit 3. I'm going to exit because... I could break both of them that way. Well, I just hit three. I must have hit F3. Alright, done. Enter to exit. Okay. I'm used to Linux tools much more than uh, these Windows ones or DOS tools. That's really what most of these are. But this is a cool uh, system. Forgetting that I'm not showing the whole screen. I didn't have any trouble mounting it, did I? Auto mount drives. That should have just auto mounted my drives, but actually. I think it was already mounted. No. I do not want to format it. So the Windows Explorer file manager thinks it's not mounted. MBR check. Oh, there's a log file from MBR check. That's handy. I like that. Okay. Uh, Tells you exactly what happened. Of course, I didn't actually do anything. I just let it check it and then got out of it. Okay, so I can't get to my links or anything. I kind of know where one of them is. <coughs> Let's see. Browsers and file managers. Okay. Got a lot of different things in here. Opera web browser. That's what I was trying to think of. Let's go ahead and try that. Oh, I probably should have just used Internet Explorer, but this is an old version. Well, this is an old version of Opera, too. Seems like Opera worked better. Could not locate remote server. So I guess it has Internet connected up. It did that automatically. Well, it does on the one that the newer. Maybe I have a newer version on my SD card because I, mean, I think it did it automatically on there. This may be 15 point so and so, the other one, whatever. It's real fiddly using this. Okay, maybe that worked. It just it didn't bring yeah it did it just did it it didn't bring me up a menu. If you do wireless, it'll do wireless, but it's that's pretty fiddly. Okay, here's what I was wanting to do. Online virus scan. Okay, let's see what we get. Trend micro is the one I kept running across. It looked like it would actually do it. I don't know what logic. I don't have my. I use a. A link checker before I go to links and everything. Make sure I'm at the house call trend micro. Ah. Uh, says for 64 bit Windows 7. I, would, I had forgotten that. Now you gotta download it. It probably only. Okay, let's see. You download a browser add on, I think.
it would do pretty much what you want. What I really wanted was, um, you know, there's a lot of multi, you can upload files to multi virus skin engines. Virus total browser add on, that's what I was trying to think of. And, and you can also have it scan links before you go to them. And virus total, that's what I do a lot. Well, I was talking about a minute ago. Um, if I was in Internet Explorer, it might do it. Let's see. Pretty sure that's just a little browser add-on. No, it's a little file. See now, it's wanting to go to my mini XP. It's not a very big file though. I don't think was it. 2.1 megabytes. Oh, that's enough. I got two gig of RAM, so it should be all right there. Now I'm gonna just let the browser. Oh, it's not through downloading. I double clicked on it. Or I used that or it started a new download to download a bigger program. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it was done downloading. That's what it's doing. Well, that's, that's going to probably fill up my memory before I can get started. <coughs> that's probably going to be a. Surely it's not that slow two point one megabyte oh what two million one hundred and five thousand seven hundred and sixty bytes so what is that two gigabytes two gigabytes really kind of seems like it's stuck at 48 percent too there may be a limit on how much you can download into the live system but that was my idea was to use an online scanner I'm going to cancel it now I'll have these temporary files in here I hit restart <laughs> I meant to hit reload and I hit restart. Um, okay. This one I don't, re I haven't seen, but I don't, yeah, since I haven't seen it. Oh, it's an ad. Okay, that's why I didn't see it. I have ad blockers in my, probably not free. I forgot to put free in there. Dead Defender, ESET, well I've already scanned it with ESET, Rescue, Kepler Sky, I think you just have to download Kepler Sky, and that wouldn't, the, the Rescue Kepler Sky wouldn't run on this machine, F-Secure, that's a good and one of the oldest virus scanners, let's see, I think it, something, you gotta download. Okay, it says run now. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's gonna save a. You can either run it or. I'm gonna hit save and then run it. Much smaller anyway. I'm gonna close this other stuff that I'm not using. And it's downloading something, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be as big. In the the installed version of Internet Explorer is not supported. Please install a newer version. So it was going to try to open it up in Internet Explorer. That's the one I was remembered said Internet Explorer. I'll click on this again and see what happens with that. I'm pretty sure that's two gigabytes. The little file is 2.1 megabytes, but the uh, or it could be. Bytes, kilobytes, yeah. Bytes, I think that's that's two gig. Well, why is it hanging up there in the middle? Of course, I already killed it and started it again before, so. I'm going to try it in 
I'm gonna copy my search results here and close this. Did I cancel that yet? Keep trying to do it if I don't. Remove all finish. Maybe I'll get rid of all this extra files I've downloaded out of my RAM. And I'll see what was it? No, it didn't. I'm gonna delete those. stuff in the recycle bin then delete that stuff okay oh I banged into my little box it's holding my camera near and knocked it off <coughs> I clicked on the wrong <coughs> ram drive I want to see what's in there that's what I thought some of that you don't want to get rid of. Everything's in the kilobyte range, so I won't worry about it. Okay. Kill my operating system if I don't watch out. Okay, um, let's go open open up Internet Explorer. It's probably really old. That said Oprah. Clicked on Internet Explorer icon and it opened up Oprah. Wow, that's weird. Okay. Paste and go. So the only one that I can try to use is Trim Micro. Ask Call Launcher Save. Oh, 2.1 megabytes is 2,105,166 bytes. Okay. So that wasn't telling me what I'm downloading. It was telling me what I already got. Too cold to pay attention, I guess. <sighs> but it just seems to hang up. I can't hold still either. Too I was getting a uh, drink and I hit it with my cup. So it's really ridiculous that these online virus scanners for Windows systems will only run in Windows. And especially what if you only got one? Most people, you know, are running one computer. They don't have a bunch of them sitting here. Maybe, and uh, trying to fix it. And you got an infected computer. And you really can't, even with a remote scan. I've done years ago. I did this uh, with an infected computer, you know. And uh, shoot, it, you've got a bad. Some of these viruses will stop this from working. Um, and uh, so, you know, I'll try to do it. This application has failed to start because there's no deal. So and so, so and so, so and so. Okay. Well, that's because this is not a full version of XP, and that, so it's not going to ever work. So, you can't use a live mini XP to do it with Bitdefender. You can't, <coughs> um, it's really not a lot of good to try to scan an infected, clean an infected computer from its within itself. That's why I use the uh, uh, rescue CDs and DB, uh, USB sticks and stuff. But and the other, uh, and the other thing is, I really want to do what what would be the most coolest thing is to have a multi-engine scanner that could scan your system, but it needs to work from Linux. Really, you should be able to just go to one of these websites in Linux, in a live Linux system, and run the virus scanner. But I have never seen one that will run on Linux. They all want you to run in Windows. Generally it's a Windows executable file and a lot of times um, it's uh, well it's Internet Explorer like uh, F-Secure here. A new fully functional version of Internet Explorer. So even if you had a newer version uh, then if it's infected it's probably not going to do you much good. 
the one I, I thought, well, I know you could make, could use Wine in Linux to run. You know, it'll run some uh, Windows applications, but you're probably going to run the same type of problems every time I've tried it. It used to, back in 2006, 5, 6, 7, you could run a lot of things on Wine, but now I find very few things that run on Wine. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's because it wouldn't be capable, it's because it's not a true open source uh, system software. It's, uh, it's like Windows shareware, freeware. You know, you you uh, it's 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 limited functionality unless you pay for it. So, uh, and it doesn't work well enough for me to even be interested in thinking about paying for it. So, uh, their system's not working for me. Their uh, their way of doing it. <coughs> uh, I'm looking at all the different ones I've read over them before. Panda. Most all these are stuff you just download the virus total is that's the URL scanner I was talking about there's a Microsoft scanner it probably say oh you don't have a legal system on Windows because it's not a registered system so it's just a live system I don't think it's illegal but it's not <laughs> what they consider legal Semantic Norton. I, I, I looked, I spent a, quite a while reading all these earlier, and I'm pretty sure that these are all, yeah, security scan. And the, since this is like a XP SP1 or, yeah, it's just a trial anyway. I don't, it, and it doesn't have all the deal files and everything. There's really no point in messing with that anymore. I was, I, I'd probably be better off trying to run my that Bit Defender within Wine, but I'd have to have a fully. I was trying to think some some Windows some Linux system to come with Wine, and I have some in these CDs here. But uh, one of those that was all ready to go. Of course, it's older though. I haven't fooled with CDs a lot in the last couple few years. I use DB uh, USB sticks. Uh, so it would be outdated versions of wine and it probably wouldn't run uh, I'm gonna reboot this thing and see what else is uh, see what else is on here <coughs> I remember seeing something on here a minute ago But yeah, I have. I, I know. I can think of one CD I have over there already burned. But I need to take that SD card. You know what? It tried to boot to the SD card. Now, how come you try to boot again? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and boot up the hardens again. <coughs> so uh, I may have messed up my SD card to the point I'll have to start over with it. I'm not sure put it in my other machine in a minute and see well I had it in there a while ago well that's before I fixed it though isn't it it may not even mount in my Linux system now okay whoops DOS programs there's a lot of programs on here con boot That'll, that's the way to fix Linux if I remember right it's a program that can uh, fix your Linux if you lose your Linux passwords and stuff Oh, plop, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put this SD card back in there. I should have just left it in there. <coughs> I'm pretty sure it's already... It's too broke to boot to now. I just wanted to see if my... Okay, now the whole menu is visible. If I can get this camera to show it. It's got that... Can't really read from that that star, whatever you call it, screensaver. But uh, USB. Okay, host one, four, and five. So that I wasn't missing much in the screen before, but it's doing the same thing. My, my keyboard quits working. Mouse don't work. I think some of them, 
some of the versions from that see that it works. Okay, tab does nothing. Yeah, I'm losing lose my keyboard when I get to there. So I can't do anything. So that was my problem. That's what I wanted to know. I think I can pop out my CD. Yeah, yeah, it popped out. So I'm <clears throat> not going to be able to boot to this after fixing it so much. I'm going to stop the video. No. Yeah, I'll stop it. Come back when I figure out what I want to boot to.